Now then, welcome back to another episode of New Oriador. I'm here in the amazing, the absolutely fantastic, amazing mob farm in the nether. Recently created by Peddy and Janus. And a few others. They, uh, quite a few helped, really, but it was mostly Peddy. Peddy has done a tutorial on his channel for this monster of a thing. This huge, great big monster of a farm deep in the nether. I pointed it out last episode that I wanted to find it and show you it and things like that. It's been here for a little while and it's looking pretty awesome. Uh, that pig man should not be spawning up there. So people watching who know how to get up there and do things about it, uh, not me. <laughs> Look, there's, there's one guy just sort of hanging around up there. <laughs> not really that bothered. But <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, if you want to know how this works and what it's doing, it's, it's crazy, it's an invention, and this is how vanilla Minecraft should be. Look at the scale of this farm. In modded Minecraft, you'd fit all of the things that this is doing in a 6x6 block area and have a couple of machines doing all the work. In normal vanilla Minecraft, you have to make the craziest big effigies to redstone that you can possibly get. And this is basically a wither farm. It is literally just gathering the wither skeletons. Uh, the blocks on this row, I think this row, yeah, this row, that they're all currently standing in are a block high there, a block high gap there. So that means that any other mob will get crushed to death, whereas with the skeletons who are just a little bit more than the two blocks high can breathe. So uh, they stay around while everything else dies. This is basically filtering out and killing everything except for wither skeletons. And then, uh, there's there's loads more to it, trust me. There's there's tons of redstone work that's gone into it up there. And uh, you should go and check out Peddy's channel and have a look at the recent videos he's done to have a look to see how this is actually made. It's crazy. It's crazy. The amount of work that went into this is amazing the amount of work they've done and are still doing to secure the area to improve the rates is amazing uh, but there is a looting sharpness swords in here that is to be free to use uh, but just put it back when you're finished uh, I created a new sword Ben ah, well done cheers man <laughs> uh, these all get sorted out the mob drops get sorted out down here coal We've got bones, we've got arrows, we've got, uh, yeah, all the drops that you would expect. And in here is where you get the wither heads. And as you can see, I've got none right now. Uh, I've been standing AFK for a little while, letting it run. And I've got this little horde of wither skeletons to kill. And I'm going to use this uh, looting sword to try and get them. Uh, I want to kill some wither bosses. Not this episode. I think it's probably going to take me a bit more farming up to get them. Uh, but I'm just showing you where I'm going to get them from. So that you can see where I'm going to get all my wither heads from. And stop moving. I'm trying to kill you all. Uh, you can see where I'm going to get the wither heads from. There was one I just saw just end up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got to find a nice place to kill the wither boss as well. Uh... And there's another head. That's good. Oh, we're, we're getting... Oh, there's another head. Oh, look at this. This is pretty good. I like it. It's not too noisy either, is it? No. I'll turn my sounds down a little bit for you as well. Just to try and keep it at a down low. Right. So I get all the XP. I kill all the withers. And... Go on, be ahead. Oh, no. And all the drops from all of the mobs go in this hopper chain all the way across here. And into this little hopper chain sorting system here. To put all the drops in the chests. And there's only one there at the minute. But the rest will surely be coming soon. Surely. Surely. Surely coming soon. There's two. Did I only get two? Uh, I'll, I'll hang around just a little bit more. Just to see if another one comes out. I thought. Ah, there we go. There's three. So I got three skulls. Which is pretty good. That's like the first wither boss. 
I'm not going to take it on right now. I'm not going to take it on this episode. I'm going to plan ahead for that. Uh, I'm going to do this a lot more over the next week to try and get myself quite a lot of Wither Schools so that I can do several of them at once once I've got the right place. I'm going to throw the coal and the bones in there as well. I think that just sort of drops down into this hop chain and carries on going the same as that did. And other things like the sword, <laughs> the stone swords that the Withers sometimes have, just sort of pops out at the end there. It's pretty cool. I like the automated sorting of it. I like the way it sorts all the mobs out. I think it's awesome. One thing I've got to check before I go is turn off before leaving. I'll turn it all off. And that should stop all the pistons from moving backwards and forwards up there. Which leaves the mobs just up there. They don't fall down anymore. Which is possibly the best for it. And there's plenty of signs. Turn off the farm. Or turn the farm off. Yeah, I've turned the farm off. I've turned the farm off. I'm good to go. Stop. Triple check. Is the farm off? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the farm is stopped right now. Yeah, I, I definitely switched the lever. Yep, it's off. They're all going to despawn at the bottom there in a bit. Yep, no problem. I've done it. I've done it. Betty, don't shout. Fourth check. Turn the farm. Turn the farm? I can't turn the farm. I've, I've checked it's turned it off, but I can't turn it round. That will take forever. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to head back home. Back to base. I've got a little idea for a project which will revolve around having some beacons. I want some beacons in my mine. Um, I've got an idea for something. I don't know how much I'm going to get completed this episode, but we will attempt to do some of it. So uh, now I know where this is. It's uh, off from Possum and Bunny's place. Uh, just there. I will... Yeah, I'll get back to my base and I'll see you there in a mo. I also managed to finish off my tunnel last week. Took a fair bit, but it's looking good. It's looking good. I like it. It's very quick to run through. Very, very quick to run through. But I thought I'd take the scenic route so I'm not banging my keyboard, frantically running as fast as I can down here. I managed to detail it as best I can for now. There's plenty of scope. It's still a fairly flat, boring design. But there's scope for changing the ceiling in and out every now and again and maybe changing some of the side blocks. Add a bit of greenery, maybe. A few flower pots, stuff like that. There's plenty of scope. But the main thing is, I've got the long, long section between the start and the finish. The two destinations are still to be done, but the main run is now completed. Which is fairly awesome. Fairly pleased. Now, here's my station stop. Alrighty then. So, well and truly back home and thinking up ideas. I've got plans. I've got lots of plans, but the first thing I'm looking at is about using beacons in the mine. So I've got all these mine shafts, and having beacons around will make my mining a lot easier. Will give me regeneration, give me speed, give me haste, give me all those kind of things. So I'm thinking about how I want to put beacons down here, right? And one of the things I've thought of is building statues. Statues of, well, kind of armoured knights, I suppose. And I'm trying to figure out, at the minute, the layout of where I would put these statues. I think here's a good place for one. I think here's a good place for, the, for a starter, for a test out. Uh, and not too close to that. One here would be good. That would give me a good beacon range. This side maybe even better. Mm. Maybe between these two would look cool. Between the lava and the water would look cool. Um, maybe the other side would be easier though. I've got to try and stagger them around. There was a video recently released by Manuel uh, about Beacon Basics, the Minecraft Explanation series. And uh, if you have a look at that, you'll see that beacons have quite a large... Um, variety and area of effect and uh, things like that. It just basically goes over all the details that you can find on the wiki but explains them properly for you. Uh, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Um, do I, yeah, I might as well just put iron blocks down here. So I'm thinking that this would be the top of the beacon. 
okay like a, a beacon stand and the beacon itself would end up being well let's use this nether rack for now something like that so if that's the top of a beacon right and uh, leading into a mine shaft but i can just nip around here i can get around it behind it and all that but most of the time we're just walking straight past it that might be cool um i i'm planning on building it so that the statue is like the tip of the well the beacon is the tip of the sword and the sword stretches all the way up there and then there's a statue of a man holding the sword and the beacon goes all the way up and out through the roof so I've got to be careful where I'm putting the beacon so that it will go through the roof, which means that I'm not hitting that block there, which is part of the walkway on the upper floor. Uh, but I've also got to decide how tall this statue is going to be. Uh, and I want it to be fairly tall. I want it to be fairly tall. I'm thinking that the next platform up, this next level up here, may be sort of like shoulder height. So you walk across the shoulders of the statue to go around that level. So statues have got to be fairly well spaced apart. And one of the things that Manuel has explained in his video very well and given me the inspiration to do this is that a full beacon will go 50 blocks. So that's all five levels of beacon will go and extend 50 blocks in all directions. Uh, but up, you'll get the full effect all the time. So I've got to think where from here, 50 blocks, will make my next beacon go. How many beacons will I need? Because obviously 50 blocks in that direction's straight into the mines, which is good. Which is good. 50 blocks in that direction is pretty good. It's going to go into the behind the scenes of the base. It's going to go into the base where I'm actually living, which is good. So I'll get the regeneration effects off this one. So this is kind of like my first one. It seems like I've got lots of space. But I wanted to measure out 50 just to see. Oh, Mr. Enderman, what are you doing? You're pinching things. You've got a flower? He's pinched a flower by the looks of that. Um, yeah, so I want to go sort of around the wall. So one, two, well, I've got 50 blocks on me. So let's see roughly how spaced out we would get. Let's go this way like this and around here um i'm i'm kind of roughly doing the thing yeah it's going to go another 34 blocks in that direction which is good that'll cover my farms up there as well so that's pretty good so really i could have another one here and be in loads of room you could even have a, a shoulder beam there maybe another one there i'm actually gonna have quite a lot of space aren't i if i was to take one of those back we're talking 20 so i don't even need a beacon that was a couple of levels to get 20. uh in fact the first level beacon is 20 so that's quite decent so i could potentially get away with just having uh one level of beacon and have 20 and then put another beacon somewhere else somewhere close by so that's good in theory. Look, he's got a plant. He's got a flower, look. He's got a little flower. He's, he's got a little dandelion. Get away. I'm not looking at you. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll fight you. Come on, then. Ah, uh, come on, then. Ah, come on. Ah, come on, would you? Ah, come on with you. Drop that flower. Is that flower for me? Is that flower for me? I oh, didn't drop a flower. Cheeky kit. After all that, he didn't even give me the flower. Dang. Oh well. Right, so we'll take all this back. Now, now to the seriousness of building a statue. And I've not done this before. I've got a, kind of a sketch, a rough idea of what I want to do. <laughs> I've never done it before. Uh, let's start by mapping it out a little bit in dirt. I was going to map out all where all the beacons are, but I reckon because of the size of the beacon ranges, I should be okay. So let's just go up. We can have the sword sort of however high we want it, really. So this would be the beacon beam coming up to here. Uh, yep, yeah, about here. Okay, so we're going to get up to this level here. And this would be like the top of the body or the bodice of the guy. So we're going to need to have like the top of the sword a couple of blocks lower, maybe. So, uh, yeah. 
So the beacon beam's here, and I'm thinking of using uh, like glass blocks and things like that to to uh, filter the the light, so the light goes up that way. Uh, but we kind of need a way to show him holding a sword as well, and also having some sort of oh, I don't know. I, I don't know where to begin, really. That's the trouble. Um, if I if I can knock that back a little bit, I can spread this out a little bit. Oh, what's that guy doing up there? I have not spawned so many guys for a while. Have it? Yep. Bang. Have it. Bye. Uh, so sort of like the head would be here, I guess. The head would be around here. Let's knock a few of these out. I'll take a few blocks for myself. Uh, okay, so we've got the sword beam there. We probably don't need much more than this as a distance away from the wall. Um, yeah, let's just put that there like that. Okay, so we've got this as, let's say, his chest. Walking across his chest, so I would put the pauldrons of his armor, uh, the statue's armor, that is, of course. I put the pauldrons of his armor. Let's mark that up. Um, my little sketch sort of says five away, so that would be about here. So, hmm. Forgive me if this doesn't work out quite right first time. I will be messing about with it for a while, I'm sure. Let's see. Right. Let's take these couple back and pop that on there for now. Okay, so we're looking at five wide. I'll probably then go up. Uh, let's have a pauldron there. And we could have this being part of it. I'm doing it in uh, clay at the minute because I've got a lot of clay. So that would be there. And then bringing out maybe one more because I'll need to match it in on this side as well. So we go with taking that one out, that one out, that one out. And we go with two and one here. Take this one up one here like this. And then match that out on the other side so that it brings it out. There we go. There. All right. Okay, so that's kind of like the top part of his uh, armour. So the sword won't be this high, but the beam will. Okay, so if that's the top part of his body... Uh, yeah, let's put this back so I don't fall in. If that's the top part of his body, then we're going to have sort of like his neck and head here, aren't we? So let's start with some stone for his head, uh, because we can build it out here. So, we're going to go somewhat, maybe just go three wide for now. Three wide, and just call that a face. Call that a face. So, to define it, I'm going to have to knock out a few other blocks around it, just to knock them out. There we go. Have that. Okay. I'm going to use iron. Even though I'm going to need a lot of iron for the beacons themselves, I'm going to use iron because, well, there are plenty of iron farms on the server. Now, uh, what you would normally have his nose covered. So I'm going to go with that. And then the helmet would go up, um, let's say, to here. And then we'll go out a couple. And then potentially go out under the one after that. Oh, I really am making this up as I go along. Uh, that Like that maybe. Yeah. And let's go down one here so I can... Down one here. And then put that under there. Yeah, that works. Bring this out this way. And we can go here and here. Yep. And then sort of crown it off sort of crown it off. I could potentially do this out of gold. That might look cool as well. Crown it off a bit like that. Okay. So it's only basically a statue, but I'll fill in all of the bits behind it like this as well, just to cover up any imperfections in the wall. Okay. 
so that's a head that's sorted uh, this is the middle bit I don't want to fall down that's a good idea don't fall down Memson don't fall down okay so that would be like his big helmet I might put in like um, a block or something just to represent eyes maybe a block of lapis in each or something like that have his head coming down like this yeah um, maybe use some other block to sort of represent around the outside of him, like to, to block off around his face, so he's a bit more defined, maybe, and then throw this in here to give him a hair and something like that, yeah, that's kind of, kind of what I imagined, that's kind of like what I imagined okay and then down this level we're gonna have this is coming out like that so we're gonna go down another one maybe two let's take this out a bit further and get behind here and put another one on there no actually I want to come down one more for that really I want to design it a little bit better than that there we go and then across here, that's like one side, one shoulder piece. Uh huh. And am I in the right place? Yes, I am. And do the same on the other side without getting stuck in the lava. Please don't let me get stuck in the lava. Thank you. So this would come down another one there and then out an extra one. That's actually going to block the lava, isn't it? Is it going to block the lava flow? Um, am I going to change the lava flow there? Yes, I am. Let's not do that then. Let's not change that round too much. Let's leave that in as it is. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of stone, like proper stone, in order to make this fit in right. So let's start by checking this out. I want to go back another one, really. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Uh, let's just throw a torch behind there. Just for now. I'll fill all that in properly later. And build his like, body down. Uh, yeah. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. There we go. Build his body down a little bit. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I need to get some more stone and things as well, really. To go and get his armour and stuff sorted out properly. So... Let me just go and grab some more stone, do a bit more building, and then I'll give you a, a looky at what I've come up with. Without beacon, of course. Let's have a look at him. Let's have a look at him from down here. Da 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 da! He does look pretty, pretty big, doesn't he? A pretty big and beastie. Oh, yes. We we'll shall see. Right, go and get some more stone. Well, it's starting to take shape starting to get there it's a little off-putting having the um white wait 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 what's going on zombies zombies keep attacking me and i don't know where from i don't know where i've left it dark i don't know where i've left it dark enough for the zombies to come in i know i just had this area out a little bit but that's that's not going to spawn them in here they keep coming out somewhere and coming and getting me look at it i'm on two and a half lives Two and a half hearts here. They might be coming from down there, I suppose. Maybe there, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye on that and try and figure it out. He's starting to look like a great big statue of a man. I hope you can see it. Uh, that that's the clay there is going to be like the sword, which is going to be the beam. I've moved it in one. Just to get it a bit snugger to his chest. A bit tighter to his chest. And I think it's starting to look okay. There's a little detail that I want to add uh, just under this second hand. It's got one hand coming across there. Another hand coming across here. There's something I want to add in just around here somewhere. And I'm not 100% sure on how these hands are going to go yet either. So that one goes to there. This one would come to about here say. And I don't think those would be necessary. 
and then we'd have something like a sword hilt going along here like a sword hilt with the bacon beam going straight up through the sword hilt and him got his hands around it i might use some cobblestone and some um walls cobblestone walls and things just there just to try and make it a little bit more knuckle like and curved but in general the statue's getting there i think i feel it's getting getting there it's working the way it should do i've just got a little bit more fine tuning to do and a little bit more tweaking and then kind of uh, change it up a bit for the next one and just I might have to get rid of the lava and the water, like I say, and smooth the wall back a section. Just a little bit. Uh, but that is all I've got time for. I've been messing around with this for ages now. I need to get off and get on with some of the stuff. This is the end of the episode. Let's just have a quick look at it from around here. I'm heading upstairs to go and get my healing potions because I don't have regeneration beacons just yet. And those little zombies keep getting a hit in. So, yeah, we've got... A sort of a crown this section above him needs cleaning up a bit we've got kind of armor I'm thinking maybe the hand uh, the arms need to go back a little touch uh, maybe a little bit more mosaic -y rather than uh, flush with the armor and I don't really want the armor to come out any further but yeah and the block choice I'm thinking that that's a good choice at the minute but I may want to do something like iron and make it solid appearance uh, but overall that is the general idea at least that's the idea of what i'm trying to achieve and hopefully i'll be able to get a good good result over the course of the week or so uh, just playing around with it and then have a few of these statues in place and also dig up straight to the uh, straight up and through so that i can actually have a beacon functioning when I get a beacon working. Oh yes. Well, thank you very much for watching another episode of New Area Door. Uh, things are progressing a little bit to this week. A little bit more progression at the base this week. Just having a look around last week. Just showing off some of the other new guys' bases and things like that. Um, but now I'm back over here and I'm trying to do my best to make this place look awesome. I think it might eventually maybe eventually yeah it's a tight squeeze for a statue but i might just be able to make it work a little tweak here and a little tweak there a little bit of playing around and i'm sure i'll get something that looks halfway decent at least okay thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next episode of new oriador see you later